Hello folks, welcome to the Southern Virginia Homestead. Today I'm going to make some pickled banana sweet peppers. And I mean I say pickled because I'm putting them in a brine, but they don't really sit through a pickling process. I just make up a, a vinegar and sugar and salt brine and I put them in the jars. Um, <clears throat> then I just use them on sandwiches and stuff. They're really good. These are sweet peppers that I have here. I also have some jalapeno and some hot wax up in the upper garden, which I may also do today. Um, and I don't technically can them, just because I'm still a little intimidated by the canning process. And I, this fall and winter, I'm going to try to learn a little more about that and get into that. But um, honestly, I eat these things so quick and give them to friends and whatnot that they're never going to like sit in a pantry for any length of time. And as a matter of fact, these jars here that I'll make up today will all go right in the fridge and I'll probably eat one. It doesn't take me more than a few weeks to get through one. I have them on salads, I'll have them on rice dishes, I'll have them on sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, chicken salad sandwiches. They're really good. And so <clears throat> I'm just going to cut the peppers up. I got some fresh basil right here from the garden and uh, pick some of that. I've got the peppers. The garlic was purchased at the store. I hope next year to have garlic in the garden too. So next year, this whole process hopefully will be out of the garden. This year it is except for the, the garlic and of course the vinegar, <clears throat> the seasoning, salt, sugar. But uh, I'll show it to you when I get a few cut up and jarred up. All right, I'm going to show you the process for one of the jars here. So I start out with a jar. Now they're all washed, but since we're outside, I'm just giving them a final rinse. And uh, so the jar is clean. And I start out with a decent sized clove of garlic. Peel the paper off of it. Smash. Quick rough chop. Cut out with some fresh basil. Take a few of the bigger leaves. Try to leave most of the wood behind. And I could put it in a hole, but I got a little cut as well. Just so it comes out in pieces, not a big, like, slimy piece. Okay, and then, just the peppers, I'll give a slice on those. Now, I don't get too nuts about the seeds, but in the end pieces where they're clumped up pretty good, I just pull them out. The rest go in. Pumps go in there. Again, pump the ends go in, go out rather. Save most of the seeds here that I can. Next year. Get a few of each color so it's nice color variation in the jars. Just a lot of 
competitive or whatnot. So I, what I'll do is I'll go up about halfway on the jars and then I'll put in a couple more sprigs of um, leaves of uh, basil and another clove or two of garlic. And then when I get them to the top, this is what they look like. I pack them in pretty decent, leave a little bit of room for the brine, and that's basically the process. Just keep repeating that until they're all chopped up. All right, so, got my brine boiled for two minutes. And I'm gonna top off the jars and make a mess everywhere, which is why I'm doing this outside. and let that suck down as it cools it'll suck the seal down and I'm going to just repeat that process for all those jars so here's what I ended up with eight quart jars of sweet peppers and six pint jars of hot peppers of various kinds thanks for watching God bless you